In this video, we're going to be going over energy and matter in chemical change. And this is our part one video inside of chemistry. So let's get started with this video. So we're going to kick things off with how can you measure runner fitness? So on the right here, there's an illustration of a modern lab setup where a runner is wearing a mask connected to a machine. And also there's a scientist with a clipboard in his hand observing the data to determine the oxygen levels of the runner. So furthermore, this, uh, the scientist also monitors the runner's breathing to determine the quantity of oxygen that is consumed by the runner. And the scientist notes that the harder the athlete works, so the more exercise he does, the more oxygen and glucose is consumed by the runner. So because of this, that means that the energy required for running comes from chemical reactions that consume oxygen and glucose stored in the runner's cells. And this is just a simple concept to get us started with chemistry. And furthermore, inside of this series, we're going to discuss the following topics. So in chapter 1, we're going to cover atoms, elements, and compounds. In chapter 2, we're going to discuss names, formulas, and properties. In chapter 3, we're going to talk about chemical reactions, and that will basically be it for chemistry. So that summarizes everything for this introduction video of what we're going to cover in the series, and also a runner fitness. So that summarizes everything for today, so thank you so much for watching from Try To Be Useful, and we'll see you guys in our next video.